So Juwan, do you kind of feel like the team's finally kind of playing up to its fullest potential, or do you think there's still more places to go? Uh, I'm just so proud of how our team competed today. Uh, they've been competing all year, and it's nothing like coming in on the road and getting a road victory in a tough environment. Um, we're going to continue to go back in the gym each and every practice and see how we can grow. But um, it was beautiful you know, to see all the contribution coming from you know, everyone to touch that floor. So, Jordan, how difficult has it been when you're trying to fit a bunch of pieces together and you've got COVID and you've got you know, games called off and you're on the road all the time? How difficult has that whole process been? Well, I'll tell you this. Um, Enjoy what you're doing because don't get into coaching right now when during a pandemic. It's very <laughs> challenging. And uh, we all are really, you know, every coach, every player is uh, getting uncomfortable uh, during this stretch for the last couple of years. Uh, but I'm proud of how our young men have really band together despite, you know, a lot of the uncomfortable moments, uh, finding ways to stay together, stay positive and enjoying this college experience the best way they can. But what's best about it all is that playing basketball, something they love to do, um, is a nice, you know, good therapy. And it's very therapeutic for each and every one of us. Because coaching is, is beautiful, uh, seeing these young men just, you know, enjoying the process. Jawan, we're seeing three-pointers now the last two games going in at the end of possessions. But I guess what's happening before that on offense to create these good looks? Defensively. Mm -hmm. You know, our defense is, uh, is, is really uh, getting the job done for us. Um, defense sometimes creates the offense. Uh, but, but it's great, you know, when you see the ball go through the net. Um, it, and it definitely builds confidence uh, for the players. And it also helps on the road when the ball goes through the net because, you know, it takes some of the energy out of the crowd. Um, you know, we, we, we had some runs that was thrown at us. And the beautiful part about it, it was we were able to respond after those runs. Speaking of the defense turning off, and did you guys use zone a little bit today to, to good effect, I guess? What are your thoughts on throwing that defense out? To, to mix throwing everything out yeah. and the kitchen sink. <laughs> just didn't happen. You know, I can't pick up the kitchen sink. But we're, we're going to um, just play hard and you know, continue to keep you know, just trying to make you know, every possession um, challenging for our opponents, contesting shots, uh, trying to keep them out of the paint. This team, you know, they, they're led by you know one of the best players in the country, and he's a load. And the guy I'm speaking of is Jackson Davis. John, we've talked to, to you and a couple of your assistants this year about just how much is on Eli's plate. And tonight, from a scoring standpoint, he didn't have to do as much as in other games. Is this kind of the, the right blend you guys are looking for in terms of you know what you want Eli to be doing, where he's not counted on so much offensively, but he's still part of everything on offense? Eli has been wherever we need from him. And you know, with how basketball goes, and especially with how our team is designed, um, if you watched us for the last two years, now going on third, you know, there are going to be some times when you see, you know, a guy like Jace have a good game. You're going to see, you know, a guy like, you're going to be Frankie's night. It's going to be Hunter's night. It's going to be Moose's night. It's going to be, you know, Eli's night. You know, that, that's how our, you know, team is designed by sharing the basketball. And it's not about just the score on what you put on the scoreboard as far as what shows up on a box score offensively. That's how you can impact the game in ways that does not show up in a box score. So with saying all that, you don't have plus or minus plus 15. John, how crucial was Terrence down the stretch in the first half when you have Caleb, Hunter, and Devontae on the bench and then they start making that run and then Terrence gets those tough shots to kind of big. close in the rim? He's big. He's big, man. Yeah. Defensively, uh, offensively, came in, uh, stretched the floor, and uh, made some shots from the outside, driving to the basket. Uh, whether he dumped off a pass or he was finishing at the basket, uh, the kid's just savvy. He knows how to play, uh, and he's so s smart. You know, he, him and Eli reminds me of one another so much. Were you dialing, were you dialing him up at all down the stretch, or was he just was he just making plays? I'm sorry. Were you dialing Terrence up at all down the stretch, or was he just out making plays? <laughs> I won't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, uh, Caleb, Caleb Houston has, has been shooting a lot better from three last couple games. Have you seen anything different about his approach or his preparation? Seeing the ball go through the basket. 
Like, you know, he's always been rock solid every time, all the time. And coming into practice, getting his work in, watching film, um, learning the game, and staying dialed in mentally. And, uh, you know, it's beautiful, like, you know, the, for a young man who's wired that way, you know, special things are going to be happening for him in, in this game of basketball because, you know, just how his mindset is designed. Um, and I, I just admire being around a guy like Caleb because um, I see so much uh, growth in him, you know, game after game. Hunter credited the guards with uh, driving really well into the lane to create some of his open looks at the top of the key. Would you say that, you know, in terms of penetration, this was one of the better guard, uh, games the guards have had? I would say this, our guards made a good play. So I'll let you write whatever you want to write as far as which game, because they, they've been a lot of games where they made plays for us. I just said one other thing, that this is the team everyone was expecting at the beginning. Is that an accurate statement? Um, Hunter's entitled to his opinion, but I will say this, um, this team has a chance uh, to get better and better each and every game. And you know, with the set, how the roster is designed, you have a mixture of you know, seniors and you have some freshmen and you also have some sophomores. And keep in mind, the sophomores, this is their first time playing on the road with a crowd. Uh, last year, you know, it was COVID, you didn't have a crowd. So all this is somewhat new to a lot of them. But at the same time, you know, they're getting better and better each and every game. And I just see that from what we have, from the disposition at practice, um, I'm not surprised that, you know, our guys, you know, our team played well today. Jamal, what did you think Brandon was able to give you coming back for the first time in a little while? It's great. It's great. Good. Okay, Coach. All right. Thank you.